Once you have verified the patient's identity using two identifiers, such as first name, last name, and date of birth, place your patient on the CT table in a supine position with their head settled in the head holder. Align the central ray to the level of the external auditory meatus using the internal axial laser light. Make sure that the lateral laser light is at the mid-thickness of the cervicothoracic region and that the longitudinal laser light is placed on the median sagittal plane. Remember to close the doors of the examination room in accordance with radiation protection rules and perform proper hand hygiene. Select your patient from the work list, then click on Patient Selection. Verify that the pre-filled information is correct and fill in the patient's height and weight. Finally, choose the appropriate protocol. Check that the patient's position on the table matches with the one indicated on the monitor. Note that here, the patient's orientation is head first. After checking the scan parameters, click on Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and launch the acquisition when the buttons flash. Repeat to obtain a lateral scalp view. Click on Next Series. Place your first acquisition on the chest covering from the apices to the costophrenic angles. Using both scalp views, the apices can be verified on the, both the AP and lateral scalp. The lateral costophrenic angles are verified on the AP scalp view and to the posterior costophrenic angles on the lateral scalp view. Be sure to check both. Check the lateral scalp view to ensure all anatomy is covered front to back. Adjust slice boxes as needed. Now position the second acquisition on the upper airway region from the sphenoid sinus to the mediastinum. Remember to tighten or reduce the reconstruction area, otherwise known as the display field of view, to slightly larger than the size of the neck. This will improve image quality. Verify the consistency of acquisition parameters, which are often pre-configured. Before continuing, check that the predicted dose is consistent with the diagnostic guideline values. Check the reconstruction boxes. For the acquisition of the chest CT, you will need a smooth reconstruction filter for the study of the mediastinum and a sharper reconstruction filter for the pulmonary parenchyma. In patients with difficulty maintaining a breath hold, you can try reversing the direction of the acquisition in order to start with the costophrenic angles and end at the pulmonary apex. For the upper airway scan, a smooth reconstruction will be required to study the different parenchyma enhancement. As indicated earlier, reconstruction with a sharper filter and bone windows may be required on this region. Next, check the programmed scan delays. The chest is examined at standard arterial time with a delay of 30 seconds. The neck is explored in the double injection phase. Click on Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and begin the scan when the buttons flash.
a second low volume injection is scheduled for 20 to 25 seconds before the acquisition starts. Once the scan is complete, verify the absence of breathing or motion of the patient on the acquisition. Now you can click End Exam. You can also perform multiplanar reconstructions according to the requests of the radiologist. At the end of the examination, accompany the patient back to the changing room and tell them they can get dressed. Provide the patient with any post-examination instructions per your department protocol. Thanks for watching. For more great clinical content and special offers on CE credits, follow us on socials.